All right, what's up, fam? We're in Division 2 right now, and I know the PTS is live. I wanted to bring this video to you and let you know a few things that mainly people want to know about. Now, the reason I'm on Division 2 is because I wanted to do a few comparisons, and then we're going to hop right over to the PTS. Because there are some things that people wanted to know. A lot of people are interested in PvP. Maybe we'll hop into conflict. Maybe not. We'll see. But these are the things that I wanted to test out to see what the community wanted to notice was better. And that involves the expertise system. I personally have a problem with how expensive this is. So I just wanted to see the difference in comparison with how much it costs to recalibrate or expertise something as opposed to when it changes. Because I see that the expertise right here, they didn't say optimization, they said expertise. It costs 200, 400, 200, 200. All right, you see that right here on the right side, it says 118, 76, 148. That's for the chill out mask. Now I'm gonna go into, this isn't expertise at all. Let's see what the change is in the PTS to see how much lower this is to, to increase that. So it costs that to upgrade, boom, 136. So the more, the, the more is expertise, the higher the, the cost is. So now it's 136, 89, and 173. So let's go into the PTS. You know, I never really got into the expertise much. I didn't really, I didn't, you know, I really knew about the difference, how much it cost. It's just that when I got to a certain point, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this no more. Okay, now we're in the PTS. Tinkering. Ah, oh, why does it say tinkering? They changed this to tinkering instead of optimization. <laughs> okay, chill out mask. Oh, yep. You see that? What was it before? It was like, what, 73? Something else it was like. I forgot exactly what the numbers were, but this is definitely less now. Okay. If I upgrade it again. 43 to 46, 46 to 52. Uh, wow, okay. Wow, okay, so look. When that, the, the more you upgrade it, it's not, it's not, the numbers aren't going up as high as, you know, jumping up as high. It's a lot, significantly less. So this is going to give people an incentive to want to upgrade things even higher in the expertise level. And now you see, you see, you see this flag right here? You only, you only need one. And then we'll see if it, okay, now you need two. Wow, they're, they're really, okay, okay. This is definitely going to give me an incentive to want to do this. And now when it got to 10, it's only flags. I need three of them. Four. Okay. Once we get to level 12. All right, so that's, this is my max expertise level 12, so I can't upgrade anymore. Okay, now it looks like, well, dang, <laughs> it took all of my materials. So, it's, so it seems the, okay, so here's what they did. This is why I didn't see any changes here, right? What they did they never they didn't change the optimization they only changed they didn't change the proficiency they only changed expertise because it still takes the same amount of materials you see how it says 400 400 200 200 they still require a lot of these in order to make these proficient but the difference is with the proficiency and expertise is that you can play the game and whatever pieces you play the game with are going to eventually make them proficient then once you get them to the point where they can be expertised after they're prof proficient is when you see that it doesn't cost as much to upgrade it yep okay how do you guys feel about the fact that they didn't change the proficiency, but they changed the expertise? 
Now let's check out these enamel kits. Go to the gun range. Take some damage. See what it. All right, look, instant armor kits. Old V to use.